Okay, so, um, there was news that dropped kind of today as I was making this video. I don't know if I'm gonna post this the same day or not, but, um, there was a whole thing that was posted today, or I saw a thing that was posted today that was like, oh hey, there's gonna be two new Descendants movies. And I was kind of like, what the fuck? Um, I think they should have just left it at Descendants 3, or they should have left it at the Royal Wedding. I don't think the Royal Wedding was really needed all that much, but whatever. But I think they should have just left it at either 3 or um, the wedding thing. Um, a lot of people are like, oh hey, we can't have more because Cameron's gone, but... Like, yeah, that's kind of, like, you know, eh, because, like, he's gone now. Like, he technically doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> um, I guess he only really exists in, like, movies and in people's, like, memories and stuff now. So, um, whatever. Um, but I think this was their plan all along. Like, whether one of the cast members, like, did die or not or whatever like I think they were planning to continue like you know back when it started like it was super popular like when Descendants got a shit ton of views and like was like one of their biggest franchises ever they were like let's keep this going for as long as we can um and whatever like I don't think they were kind of like, oh, let's keep it going and, like, switch whatever now that one of the main characters is dead, like, it's like, let's switch to something else, like, that's within the franchise. Like, uh, I think they were planning to do this kind of thing the entire time. Um, I think when they did Descendants 3 and they were like, oh, hey, Ben and Mel are getting married and it's kind of like the end of their thing here, like, you know, they kind of got their happily ever after there. Um, I think it's like their plan there was to switch to maybe a different VK group or like different focus on, like a focus on different characters, like maybe it could be Dizzy and Celia and maybe some other two characters or something like that. Um, but yeah, I think, th I think that was their plan the entire time. I don't think they were just gonna switch two different characters just because, um, Cameron Boyce is gone now. I think that was their plan the entire time to switch to a different thing after a bit because they're like, oh hey, this thing is popular, let's keep it going and switch to different characters because, you know, the main four VKs and main characters all kind of have their stories kind of wrapping up and stuff, so we got Ben and Mal who are married and then they're like king and queen and whatever and they can do that stuff. Evie has her four hearts thing with like her fashion and stuff. Um, Jay, I'm sure, is gonna do like sports something. They didn't really give him much of anything really. I think they're probably just gonna have him do like, maybe he's a coach at one of the like, I don't know, maybe on a school field, he's someone who's going to help people know how to what they're doing on the field and stuff. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> um, and then a Cameron voice for Carlos, I think. They're just going to, like, to make it so he's, like, not there. Like, they'd probably be like, oh, he's just, like, off on a trip thing to like save animals or something or maybe there's the whole thing like with Jay and Gil there's a whole thing of like them going on a huge trip to go see like penguins or something like that I think they mentioned penguins in the third movie and so maybe they could write that off as Jay and Gil are on some like crazy trip to go see penguins and stuff out in the wild I don't know something like that they could just be like, hey, here's an excuse to not have every single character from the last 
however many movies and stuff be like we they don't have to write them into there really like they don't have to have the characters themselves show up I think that would be the only way they could really do that and like have an excuse for the characters to not all be there so yeah I think for Carlos it's like he's on somewhat of a trip thing where he's like saving animals and stuff and like taking care of like dogs and cats and stuff and whatever other type of thing like maybe he's a vet and maybe he's maybe he's like saving endangered animals or something I think that would be like the only way they could really probably do something like that and then like the wo royal wedding um like they did kind of seem like they were like oh hey we're all sad because he's gone like they kind of seemed like they acted like he was actually dead within the Descendants universe, but I feel like maybe it could have just been... They could could just write it off as just him being gone on a trip and he was too busy helping animals and stuff to be there for the wedding. So I, I don't know, maybe they could do something like that, but yeah, I don't, I don't really get why they are doing more movies here. There was like some whatever thing they were like oh hey we're announcing that there's gonna be two new movies or two more new movies for Descendants and I think they should have just ended it at Descendants 3 or even the Royal Wedding or something like that but then the Royal Wedding was like hey let's have a cliffhanger here and let's have it so there's like a rabbit and like it looks like you're going down the rabbit hole and whatever and stuff and but like also, like why would they have a Alice in Wonderland thing if we had Ellie in Descendants of the Wicked World? Like she was a part of the whole thing of like being there and stuff. So I don't know, maybe she was like, she went to Oregon for a while because it's like, oh hey, we can have you go meet friends over there and you can check out there if you want and then come back to the Alice in Wonderland school or whatever. I don't, I don't know. I don't know why. It's, it seems weird. Like, maybe they're going to have the other two movies take place over in the Alice in Wonderland type of, like, Wonderland world or something. I don't know. It seems kind of weird. <laughs> but, whatever. Um, we just have to, I guess, wait for, I guess, teasers and stuff and whatever to see what, like, the other two movies are about, but, like, I don't think it's really gonna, like, it's it's not gonna be the same. Like, it can't be the same, kind of, whatever. I feel like it's gonna be way too different with whatever stuff. Like, I mean, even the first, like, the three, um, Descendants movies with Mal, Evie, Carlos, and Jay, like, those three movies were not really, like the same <laughs> like they had the same characters and stuff but they were like very different with like the story and stuff I don't know it was kind of like obviously they have to be kind of weird different so it's not just the same whatever but it's still kind of like I don't know <laughs> it's like they're very different from each other so I don't know I feel like these other two Descendants movies are gonna be very different from other stuff, especially if they, like, you know, they don't have the same characters, which I'm guessing they're not gonna have the same characters as the other th first three, because it seems like a lot of the actors either won't want to be a part of it or can't be a part of it. So I think Sarah Jeffrey, which is Audrey's actress, I think she's probably gonna be too busy with, like, the show Charmed and stuff, like, she's probably gonna be too busy with other stuff like that. I'm, I'm guessing Charmed is still going as a show. I watched a little bit of it, but I haven't watched a lot of it, so I don't know if that's really still going. Um, of course Cameron, since he's dead, he can't be a part of any newer stuff here. Um, I don't know if Dove Cameron is gonna be Mal or anything in this new stuff, like, maybe she might make an appearance or two here and there, but I don't know, and then for Ben's actor, I don't know for him either, I don't know if he's could be too busy or if he wouldn't want to either, like, I don't know, 
I feel like Uma's actress would not want to be a part of it because she seems to not want to be acting for a while, and she seems to, like, hate the whole Hollywood industry and stuff, which, yes, it is shitty, but, um, the Hollywood whole thing isn't shitty, like, like, you know, her whole thing is a whole different, like, story there, like, she's like, oh, it's all, like, Satan worship and shit, and I'm just like, but Satan's not real, like, she may believe in that, but I don't, so it's like, I don't know, I mean, they could be, like, whatever for, like, Satan shit, but, like, you know, Satan's not pulling the strings, there could be some person there that is, like, a really shitty person, and you could call them Satan, but, you know, not an actual, like, demon man there that's actually, like, doing that stuff, so I don't know. I feel like uh, Uma's actress isn't gonna whatever for that shit, like, she, I don't think she wants anything to do with anything right now. Um, I don't know for Harry's actor, I'm guessing maybe he might not want to have anything to do with it. I don't know about Gil's actor. I don't know about Celia or Dizzy's actress. Um, or the, whatever, Smee Twins, I don't know about those two either. They're all kind of younger kids, so I don't know about them, really. <laughs> I don't know if they really could have that much of a choice in it either, because, you know, they have their parents and stuff probably running some stuff, too, so who knows. But, yeah, I don't, I don't know about Jane's actors, I don't know about, like, the parents' actors and stuff, like Ben's parents and... Audrey's grandma, I don't know about her actor either, so, like, you know, they were all kind of, like, minor-ish characters, though, so they might not make an, an appearance in the newer movies either, especially if it's, like, you know, these movies, if they t take place in, like, Alice in Wonderland side of things, like, these characters probably won't show up either, because why the fuck would they go to Wonderland? But, I don't know, it seems kind of weird, like... Maybe you could have some more of a spin-off type of thing and maybe call it something else. But it's like still within the franchise. I don't know. I, I still think they should have just ended it at Descendants 3 and whatever. And also like whatever happened to Wicked World. Like I I don't know. Like Wicked World is kind of a weird show and animation is a little weird. Like it's not horrible but it's a little like, I don't know, kind of weird I guess. I don't know. But whatever happened to Wicked World, <laughs> like, did it just die and, like, they didn't have enough views on it or something at, after a bit? I don't know. Like, you think they could maybe continue that, but also, like, I guess if the actors don't want anything to do with stuff anymore either, like, maybe they could, whatever. Um, I don't know if Evie's actor wants anything to do with this anymore either. Maybe she moved on a bit. I don't know. But, yeah. I, I'm guessing it's going to different characters and different actors and stuff. And then might have other characters make an appearance. But, I don't know. Maybe for, like, a minute or two. But then move on to the newer stuff and whatever. They might mention them, like, by name or something. Or they might mention, like, Evie's Four Hearts the fashion thing, like, they might mention that or something, but they might not just, like, actually have the character show up, but, yeah, I don't know, it seems very weird. Uh, we don't really have anything else other than we know that there's two movies coming up, and the royal wedding ended off with a bunny there, so, yeah, I don't know, I don't know, a lot of people, I think, are pointing towards Alice in Wonderland for that, because, like, hey, white rabbit, down the rabbit hole, and whatever, and stuff like that, so, I don't know, it could be Alice in Wonderland type of thing there, after Roy Royal Wedding, a uh, short thing, show, whatever, I don't know what to call that little mini thing, but, yeah, um, so I guess... All we can do is, like, speculate for now until there's teasers and other news and stuff, but, yeah, so, whatever. Anyways, I guess that'll be it for this video, though. Maybe comment what you think in the comments. It 
maybe if you have any ideas and you can comment them so yeah um i guess if you like this video then hit the like button you can subscribe for other videos i mostly do video games but i sometimes do videos like this where i just talk about something and sometimes it's descendants or some other kind of show related type of thing but yeah so i guess bye then